Hello everyone, welcome back to my page. I am Avantika Kamli and today I am going to show you how to make a motion detector while using a PIR sensor. So how this works is that whenever your PIR sensor detects some motion, then it will glow all 5 LEDs and it just looks so awesome. This can be used in stores when it is closed. So you can put the PIR sensor on top and then you can also add your own twist with a buzzer to it. I hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. Alright everyone, so before we start with any of the connections, this is a really really important part of the project. In this project, always remember that the positive side of your LED, which is the long side, is on the right hand side of you. And the short side, which is the negative side, would be on the left side of you. Now, if you are done with this, let us get started with the connections. Alright everyone, so the first connection is of the LED negative pins. So what you want to do is take your resistors and you need five of them and then you're going to take one put it on the negative side negative was on the left we do that and we put that to the negative side of breadboard there we go there's one connection and you want to do this with all of the other leds so let's do that Woohoo! it's all done now what we need to is connect the leds positive pins so i have a bunch of wires or not a bunch these are only five because we have five leds and let's just adjust this all right there we go so now what you want to do is take the arduino board in hello mr arduino board and you want to take one wire you connect it to the positive of the LED which was the right hand side of you so let's do that and then the other end would go to let's say pin number 4 let's do 4 alright look at that now with this LED you want to do pin number 5 this with 6 this with 7 and this with it let's do that all right now we are done till pin number eight as we wanted it to be right so now what we are going to be doing is connecting the pir sensor pins now before i show you anything about the pir sensor let's keep the circuit aside and now you need to know the PIR pins before we get started with anything. As you can see in the picture which is on the screen, please do memorize the pins of the PIR sensor as you will need it throughout this project. Now if you are clear with the pins, let's get started with the connections. Alright, so first we want to take the ground of the PIR sensor which was this one, right? So you want to take that, that one, and oh my god, why is it coming out? Okay, and if it's coming out like mine is, then please get some cello tape and stick it. So let me just do that. All right, everyone. So as you can see, I've got tape and I've stuck the pins. So now what you want to do is take the ground and connect it to the ground of breadboard which we will later connect to the ground of Arduino board. Alright, there we go. That is done. Now we are going to connect the power pin which is the 5 volts pin to the 5 volts of Arduino board. but also the battery is also going to be going there since it is battery powered so for now we're going to connect it over there let's keep it here all right and now the signal pin of the pir sensor would go to pin number three of arduino board right so let's do that pin number three all right there we go 
All right, we are done with the PIR sensor pins connections. So now only the battery connections are left. So let us just do that right now. All right, everyone. So for the battery, what you're going to do is take the negative side of the battery and connect it to the negative of breadboard. Let's do that. And the positive of the battery would go to the V in pin of Arduino board. So what we're going to do is connect it in a column. Let's say this one. There we go. I'm going to take another wire. I'm going to put on the same one. And we're going to connect that to the V in pin of the Arduino board. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, it's working! All right, let's see if the PIR sensor detects some motion. Okay. So, I'm like super ready for this. Let's get started. All right. Three, two, one. Oh my God, it's actually detecting. Oh my God, this is wow. Like This is like wow. It does take like two, three seconds, but it detects, it detects. Wow, I can't believe this is working. I hope you guys like this project. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you never ever miss a video when I post one. Also check out my other robotic tutorials if you like this one. And again, thank you so much for watching. Bye.